Hello, everyone, and welcome to Azuqua's weekly tips and tricks webinars. I'm Claire Machado, one of the customer success managers here at Azuqua, and we are actually doing a re recording of touring your dashboard webinar from December 4th of 2015, since there were some technical difficulties on that first. Uh, webinar, but thank you for joining us for this one. Uh, this webinar today is going to be touring your dashboard just so we can show you all of the little icons in Azuqua and what they all mean. So let's get started here. We're going to jump into the dashboard. So this is what a dashboard looks like when you first log into Azuqua, and a dashboard is basically where all of your flows live. So each of these cards represents a flow or process on Azuqua, and you can do a lot of things with the flows without even going into the designer. So for example, if we hover over a flow here, you can see that we can edit the flow. That will take us into the designer. We can edit the title here, the description by clicking in. There's also a view permission, so we can change the permissions that exist on this flow. You can also publish it, duplicate it here, or delete it um, if you don't want that flow any longer. Something else that's helpful is you can turn the flow on and off really easily straight from your dashboard here. And we also have error reporting. So you can see when the flow last ran and then also the errors or successes that have occurred. If you have an HTTP flow, this is also where you will find your API access, which we cover in the later wasted in HTTP. So those are your flow cards within your dashboard. You can filter them by the creator, date modified, flow name, execution count. Um, you can also search for flows by title. And then of course, all of these flows exist as you can see within these tabs here, which we call groups or folders. So we can just click easily to a different tab um, and then you can also easily add a group by this little plus button. In order to delete a group, you will actually need to remove all the flows, and then you can delete that folder. You can move flows around it really easily by just grabbing the title and dragging them into a different folder there. Another thing that is very helpful to know is you can create a new flow by either clicking new flow here, or you can actually go into the most recent flow by clicking designer. In this case, we were taken to the blank designer to create a new flow. But you can actually see recently open flows in this dropdown as well, and you can easily click into them, which is really helpful. Now going back to the dashboard here, we can also see reporting. You can see how many times your flows have run, errors versus successes, and then also active flows, as well as a summary of the executions that have happened on your account for this day. Now here, nothing has happened. We can click in to see show empty, and you can see that we did get a lot of empty monitors for the day, but no successes all the way through. So this is an actual um, overview of your entire account. So you will see different flows here if you have different flows active um, versus the single flow view. Now, of course, you can also access the Flow Store and the Help Center from this navigation bar, and then also your account settings. So if you click your name here, you can get into settings. You can um, change your account information, your team information, the channel settings that you have, so you can actually delete configurations you've added. Um, and then you can also see what subscription plan you are on. So that is just a brief overview of your dashboard. If you guys have questions at any time, you can always reach out to us with this chat icon here or email support at azuqua.com. Thanks so much for listening and have a great rest of your day.